it's it's the worst game that we fight. You know, fake offers is terrible. You know, fake offers is killing a lot of kids. You gotta be honest. I just believe in being honest, putting your best foot forward, and it is what it is. I think we gotta be honest. You know, honesty is the main thing that we gotta do down here. That is the worst thing that has happened to high school football. Yeah, I don't, I'm just never a fan of that. You know, the non-committable offer and the committable offer. I'm not a fan. Not a fan of them. There's people doing it. It's really a thing, man. As far as fake offers being a thing, I want to offer you. I want to let you know that if I could sign you right now today, I have a full scholarship for you. The, the question I always tell, ask the colleges, is, is this offer committable? It's, it's unfortunate. Just people wanting stuff before they really understand what it means. So I always tell them, look for the scholarship. That's what you chase. You're chasing the scholarship, not the offer. Fall into that before with some of our some of our players. You know, I'd rather have teams only offer people that are committable. I get it. They do it sometimes just to get in the game, obviously. People who don't really have nothing to do with them, they begin to pick up numbers, pick up emails, and influence kids. And you know, I've had situations where people have told me, hey, we can offer this guy this and that guy, and, and I don't like doing that. I don't like lying to my guys. I have a problem lying to my kids. If I could sign you today, I would, and that's the reason for this scholarship offer. So I'm letting you know, I believe in you, and I would like to have you on our program. I just can't do it today. We're in uh, in an area that you, you you get it by any means. Just the hustler mentality, uh, just just the will and the grit to to get the job done. I tell them all the time, if you do what you're supposed to be doing in the classroom, you do what you're supposed to be doing on the field, it'll fall in your lap. I like to be as real and upfront as possible with my kids. I don't like making them feel like. They got something that they really don't. It's, it's hard to get one offer. It's hard to get one school to recruit you, let alone several. Because here's the big thing. All it does is create more work. You got to call the school and say, hey, listen, is this a committable offer? Is this a non-committable offer? If a student athlete gets a call from a, from a coach or whatever the case may be, talk to the head coach and let the head coach reach out to the school to make sure it's legit. I sit down with any college coach that comes to our school and we, we make sure and I tell them, look, I want to make sure this is a real offer. It's a part of the game. It's an unfortunate part of the game. It makes the kids feel good and stuff like that, but at the same time, like, you're lying to your kids. I don't like places that do it. I don't like anything associated with it. So when I see guys talking about they got this offer and that offer, and I instantly ask, well, did you talk to the coach? No, I didn't talk to the coach. It's not something that is conducive to helping the students. And there's just, I think, just a little bit too much gray area in there, which is a little bit more cut and dry. It's supposed to be used to help them, but it can be used against them. So just verify everything with your coach. It's important that the kids and their parents make sure that they're doing their homework and their due diligence just as well. I want to make sure that it's a real offer when they get it, that it's, that it's you know, a committable offer or, or can become a committable offer. I, I'm not a fan of that at all. The colleges hold up, you know, that's their thing. I try to tell our guys, hey, listen, if you're not going to give our, you know, some do it, some don't. If you're not going to give our guys a committable offer then you know, don't offer if you want them to go to your school offer you know sometimes it's it's colleges trying to throw their name out there sometimes it's trying to help a high school coach out you'll get some coaches who are throw those out there just to entice the kid to come into their school and that kid thinking that I got an offer from this school signing day comes now coach I had Alabama Georgia Penn State all those schools where they all go it's another thing that you battle down here especially down here because so many people like I said are trying to get in the doors down here probably not a huge fan of it but um, at, at the end of the day it's part of the game but again it comes with the climate you know for Unfortunately, so just gotta learn to deal with it. So those those fake offers don't even post. If a coach calls calls me and say, "Hey, I want to offer a kid," I'm gonna call the kid and say, "Hey, you need to talk to this coach." The coach is gonna then say, "Hey, right here's my here's my Twitter. Repost that." If you don't hear a coach say repost that, we know what it is.